Hey friends, welcome to A Little Of It All. My name is Taylor. On this channel, we are using the zero-based and cash stuffing budgeting methods to stay out of debt and save money to buy a house. So if that sounds like content you're interested in, friends, I would love it if you subscribe to this channel and joined us on our really fun adventure that we have been on. We would just love to have you. But friends, don't be surprised if you see a video pop up on like a DIY or like a candle making video because I do love a little of it all. Thanks so much for choosing me to spend some time with today, friends. Whether this is your first time stopping by or you've been hanging out for a while, I'm just so glad that you're here. Guys, give this video a thumbs up so I know that you're hanging out today. We are Cash Stuffing July's first paycheck. Really excited about this, really excited to get this underway. We are cash stuffing a lot today, so I'm excited to get all of that going. We do have a little bit of a different situation happening over here. I got some incense for my birthday. And I was like, you know what? I think I want to burn some in my video today because my little frog candle is all burnt out. So let me know what you think and let's give this a count. And 43. Okay, $2,643 is what we have, and that is exactly perfect. I am so excited about how full this coin jar is getting. Guys, don't forget in my description box below, I have all of my favorite rewards apps, my Amazon storefront link, all of that jazz. It's all listed down there for you guys to see what I use um, and all of my favorite stuff. So give it a peek if you wanna check anything out. We are starting with our bills binder today. This is our prop money binder. Our bills are not cash flowed because we are not one month ahead, but I like to be as transparent as I can be about our finances so you guys can see where our money is going. So subscribe Subscribe and save is not getting anything this pay period. Ties is getting 270. Um, how are you guys doing? How is July going for you guys? Is it starting out better for y'all than it is for us? I hope so. Just to be honest and transparent, July has not started out the funnest over here. Electricity gets 200. Um, we have just had a couple of tough situations happen right at the very beginning of July, um, and it's, oh, it's just been oh, kind of hard, um, but it's okay. I, I do believe that July is going to turn around. It's still going to be a fantastic month. Water gets 50. Um, we had a friend that um, lost his battle to cancer. He was very, very young, and it was just, it was very, very hard um, just to see. Um, Canva gets $12. Um, and just to watch his wife go through that. So that that was tough at the beginning of July and nothing is gonna compare to that. Um, and then we, we just had like some personal stuff go on. Um, Universal Yums gets 45. Um, our oven like almost caught on fire. <laughs> if we hadn't have caught it, it would have been pretty bad, but thank goodness we did. Our storage units gets 190, so 150, 70, 90. Um, so that was like, stressful because I'm always I'm one of to think of like what what if like what could have happened um so like that took me a little bit of time to recover from um we think our pup Maybell had another seizure while we were at the funeral um we came home and she had busted into our room trash gets 16 um and there was um this is a little bit disgusting and I'm sorry, but there was tinkle all over our bed um and that's like a telltale sign that she has had a seizure um because she she has a seizure and then she just can't control her bladder and it goes everywhere um and so that was hard because like we weren't there for her for that and just worried about her so internet gets 85 so 50 70 85 mpe gets 11 dollars um so yeah like i don't know just several like tough things happened kind of back to back um and discovery plus gets five and then we're gonna scoot back here to the back Credit card gets 150. And then I did have to go ahead and purchase their puppy pills. Um, so I'm just gonna put in 120 and this puppy pill envelope just to symbolize and show you guys that we did spend $120 on their puppy pills, um, but I paid cash for that. Okay, so bills for this pay period are done. Let's see what we've got going on in our wallet. All right, so I do have some grocery. 
um, and we all know like student loans did not go through, like they're not forgiving student loans. Um, and that was a little bit of a bummer for us too. I'm optimistic, you know what I mean? And I just had kind of hoped that they would, they would be forgiven. Um, and if that was the case, then after we bought our house, so grocery gets 24, so 21, 2, 3, 4. Um, and we're hoping to buy a house sometime this year. Um, then at the beginning of next year, I was hoping to get a new car. So I hadn't gotten the AC and my car fixed, right? Because I was just like, just make it through summer. Like, I can just make it through summer, right? Like, I can make it through summer. Well, when student loans weren't forgiven, we were like, well, we need to pay off our student loans before I get a new car because we just don't want to compound our payments. Does that make sense? So now that is on the deck of paying off student loans before I can get a new vehicle. So I um, guess I had $10 rolling over and it gets a 50. So I had to call um, our maintenance shop and schedule to take my car in to figure out what is really going on with the AC in my car. Um, so huh, it's just Oh, it's just a lot. So household has $5 rolling over and it is going to get 15 and we are also under attack um, at the trailer that we live in with ants. Um, oh my gosh. It's, it, I like don't have a fear of ants. I just like, I can't stand ants. Like I can't, I have always hated ants. My personal gets a 20. Um, and they are everywhere. Like we still like we pick up our food like we have we do all the things that we are supposed to do to make the ants not come in and they're still coming in and so we spent so much money on like poison like the little ant traps and spray and all the things and it's just like I am going to go insane oh <sighs> so um anyway it is all like superfluous stuff you know what I mean my eating out gets a 10 um like all of this is gonna be okay. It's not like a big deal. July is gonna get better. It really is. So my food is has 10, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 40. So I have $40 in food. So let me know how y'all's July is going. I need to hear some good news. I know you guys are gonna have some. My going out with friends is getting a 10. And I will have 10.25. Um, and I'm so sorry that I just complained a whole lot. I just, I know I had said stuff in my budget video that I would kind of go into detail about what's been going on. So I didn't want to leave you guys hanging, but we're going to move forward from that. And let's go ahead and get into our first question for today. And our first question of today is, what is your earliest childhood memory? What is the first thing that you can remember? My drinks is going to get a five. So I will have in drinks now. 10, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So I have been thinking and thinking and thinking, and like the first major thing that I can remember is getting lost in New Orleans when I was like four or five years old. Like I wasn't taken or like anything like that. I'm not trying to be dramatic. Like I just, I literally being a, a child, like stopped to look at something and like everybody else kept going. <laughs> and I, um, was just, I think it was maybe like a vending machine or something like that. My toiletries get to 20 and like they didn't realize it. And so like, I just kind of wandered around New Orleans and I don't remember the time. Like, I don't remember how long I was gone, but I remember my papa finding me, um, and like being mad, but so relieved, you know, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. My miscellaneous gets five. Um, and like snatching me up. I remember seeing my mom and my mom was sobbing like uncontrollably. And I remember thinking like, what's wrong with mom? Like, why is she crying? <laughs> um, and so like that is, uh, miscellaneous and buffer both get fives. Um, that's one of the first things that I remember. I feel like I also remember playing on the playground of when I used to go to, um, like church daycare of the church that I grew up in, but I don't remember the age um, of like how old I was. All right, my wallet is good to go. Let's move on to my husband. So like I could have been six, I could have been seven. Like I can't really remember, but I remember in New Orleans, I was like four or five. So um, I think that's my first, like my earliest childhood memory. That's the first thing that I remember. Um, and probably because it was so like traumatic for everybody else. For me, I was just kind of like, huh, what's, what's up? What's all the fuss about? <laughs> um, so 21, two, three, four. And I remember birthdays, but like, do I remember birthdays? Cause I remember them or do I remember birthdays because 
of pictures. Do you know what I mean? Like, I can't. <laughs> I just don't know. But I do. Like, I remember wandering around New Orleans. I remember stopping to look at that vending machine. So, all right. Household has some ones. Oh, he's. Oh, Lord have mercy. Look at all these ones. And his household gets 15 as well. All right, his spending gets a 20. So, speaking of spending, talk to me about Prime Day. So, this is like the first struggle that I've had. His eating out is getting a 20 since cash stuffing. Um, and you guys know, like I'm honest and I'm just transparent with you guys. There are several like big-ish purchases. His drinks get a, gets a 10. So, he has 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Um, like a, a new printer. Toiletries gets a 10. Um, and then several other like big ticket items um, that cost more than just like $20. Um, I have had sitting, um, and his buffer gets five, in my Amazon cart, um, just kind of hanging out for Prime Day to see if any of these are on sale for, uh, you know, for Prime Day. Um, so let's move on to our sinking funds. But I'm just so torn because, like, we don't have the cash money for these purchases. Obviously, it would be something that would go on the credit card, okay? Um, so what, like, I just, I don't know what the right thing to do is. Like, if it's something that I know we are going to spend money on eventually, like, it's going to be a purchase that's going to be made eventually, should I just wait and save up the money for it and buy it eventually? One, two, three, four, five, six. Or should I take advantage of the deal, if they're even on, like, a Prime Day deal, and get that sale and that discount 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 so groceries gets 140 and it had six in it so it has 146 we dipped into our grocery envelope and our sam's envelope if you follow me on instagram you saw that um we finally oh, did a sam's day shopping and then we went to brooks as well um so both of these were pretty much depleted but it felt so nice to have that money in there and to be able to do that oh it felt so good um so what like i just don't know what do y'all think um so household gets 40. um and I'm going to talk to Scott about it and see what he says, too. Um, so, household now has 20, 40, 45, 50, 55. Um, because I, I just, I don't know. Um, I do know that there is an EcoTank printer on sale right now. I don't know if it's the one that I want, like, that I'm going to end up getting. Um, I just, I don't know what the right move is. I don't know if it's smart to do that or not. So, um, what would y'all do um, if it was y'all? So, hunting gets a five. So his hunting envelope has 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 105, 10. So 210. And Sam's is completely wiped <laughs> and it gets a five. We are starting back up slow. I'll probably budget more for this um, next pay period, but I, you know, I didn't know we were going to be dipping into it this time. Puppy food is getting a 25 and I'm just, I'm so bummed. Like part of me is hoping that it was just the thunderstorm that had rolled through and she was just scared of the thunderstorm um, because you guys know we switched up their puppy food to a really expensive grain free food that is supposed to help with her seizures. So I'm just, maybe like her body hasn't adjusted to it yet. Maybe she was just scared of the storms. I just, oh, I can't handle it if she had a seizure and we weren't here. So puppy food has 20, 35, 40. Um, so let's go to our next question. Um, this is kind of, a, a, I don't know, not silly, maybe cliche is the right word. Um, but it says, where do you see yourself in five years? So pups is getting a five. So pups has 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 5, 70. So 170. I just pulled some money from pups for um, Samson, another chew toy, and some calming treats for them. And then he has a vet appointment today, actually. So this may actually be depleted next time we do a cash stuffing. Um, us is getting a 20. So where do you see yourself in five years? 20, 40, 55. I hopefully see us in our forever home. Hopefully with an above ground pool in the backyard. <laughs> hopefully um, a continued successful YouTube and Etsy situation going on. Eating out is getting a 20. 
um, still teaching at um, the same school that I'm at. Um, I don't think we'll be like debt free because I'm sure we'll have, you know, our house payment that we'll still be paying on and probably car, but like definitely working to get those down. So eating out has 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95. Um, but just overall, just like content and happy. Um, that's what I hope for. Um, I just, I don't want to be like longing for something that I don't have, um, or wishing for something that isn't there. Over the counter meds gets a five. Um, I just h hope to be very peaceful and content and happy with where I am. Um, with all of those other things that I said too. <laughs> so where do you guys see yourselves in five years? So over the counter meds gets a five. So it has 120, 40, 60, 80, five and 90. So 190, I just pulled some from over the counter meds for some vitamins and things like that. So just a little bit less than 200. And then prescriptions is getting a five as well. Whoops. All right, so prescriptions has 120, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 205. So 205. Gas, I'll be able to put a 10 in. That's the first time I've been able to do that in a little while. So talk to me about vacations coming up in July. Does anybody have any beach trips or fun vacations coming up in the last little bit of summer that we've got going on. Well, I say last little bit. I know everybody gets out of school differently. It's the last little bit for us. And you guys know we're starting back that new um, school year this year where we're doing like the year-round school that I've talked to y'all about. So um, we're going back even earlier. So summer is even shorter. So chiropractor got a five and it has 120, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, and 20, 30. So 230 in chiropractor. Um, so yeah, it would be just like a last, um, last minute vacation for us, but it may not be for y'all. So going out with friends is getting a 20. Whoops. I, oh my goodness. I think we were planning to go see the new Indiana Jones movie with some friends this weekend. So we're excited about that. So going out has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and 10. So 110. Yay. All right. So we're stuffed up in our sinking funds. Let's put our ones in our $1 challenge. All right. Here we go. This guy's getting so stuffed up again. We'll have to be putting it in our other little baggie soon. Okay, so moving on to Annual's body, of course, once again is getting a five. <laughs> and it now has 20, 40, 60, 85. $85 in body. P.O. box we budgeted $3 for. So it's now going to have $8. One two and three okay and this tracker is from candy budgets and i just love the little flowers and color them in different colors all right so let's do our oh, savings challenges so starting off with birthdays we scratched off 30 so we are doing 30 in birthdays today we have a don't tell anybody but we have a surprise party to go to in July. We're super excited about that. And then um, one of our other friends has a birthday. Um, and then our um, brother-in-law has a birthday too. So <laughs> July filled up quickly with birthdays. Go ahead and scratch for next time. Okay, I went ahead and scratched three just because we've got a lot of birthdays in July. So 17, 6, and 8. We are budgeting 31 for B days. I don't know if you guys can see that. So sorry. Okay, so birthdays. All right, Matron of Honor. It was $10. So we are now going to have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. Almost 100. It'll be a 100 next time. And I will go ahead and let's budget 10 again. We went with a pretty purple flower, and this tracker is from the Incredible Nikki Budget. And then we have Baby Shower up next, and it was a 30, so 20 and 30. And we're going to budget 25 for next time. And then Taylor, we are finishing the Taylor scratch off today. And so we'll need a new tracker for that. So it, this last one was 15. 
So we should have 150, and this is from the amazing Cash Bear Mama. Love her. Let's see how much we've got. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, and 50. So 150, that is amazing. And the new tracker that I want for this one is this super fun 90s vibes um savings challenge from tiffany budgets she is so cool and fun and amazing and i love her so all of these are five dollars so we're gonna budget 10 for this for next time and i just love this look how fun and cute this is i had pretty much all of these things christmas is getting a 20 and it is going in our new christmas savings challenge from britney budgets is the national lampoon christmas vacation i am not sure i'm assuming i can mark this off it's like the vellum laminate so i'm hoping this doesn't ruin this so i'm just gonna do like that and hope that it didn't ruin it oh so christmas again is gonna be 20 so I'm not gonna mark that off <laughs> and then um our anniversary from my important dates box that I made so long ago is getting 15 oh I'm so excited to be stuffing this for the first time let's see how this goes I'm hoping that I made my dimensions correctly and it's just gonna scooch right on down in there perfect okay so let's pop this back in and grab another one okay next time we'll be doing 20 in bright 25 we've got 23 and that's perfect 21 2 and 3 this is getting so full I'll probably have to put this in a different container so if you guys saw on my Instagram I just finished a personal project that I've been working on for the longest time it's my Christmas notebook um, and I'm so excited about it um, I just took the pages um, that I had scanned in and kind of made on my own and oh I'm so excited about how they turned out I can't wait to get it all printed out and I do a video of me like assembling it all together um, like on here um, so let me know if that would be something that y'all would be interested in like seeing me doing like assembling assembling my Christmas notebook and putting it all together so next time we'll do 11 and 18 for bright 25 I've been doing a Christmas notebook for I want to say, I know it's over 10 years, but I can't remember exactly how long. Um, so Blue Zip is getting 15 today. Um, and I'm just, oh, I'm just so tickled about how good they look. I'm going to do an A5 size. I did them an eight and a half by 11. I did the sheets an eight and a half by 11, and I'm just going to resize the pages um, to um, A5 size as well. So there'll be two different options in case I ever want to do like a full size binder again. Um, so, oh, I'm, I'm so pumped to get it all together, um, and order all the rest of the stuff that I need. Okay, blue zip is good to go, and last but not least, that fence challenge. In the fence challenge today is going $700, and our last question of the day is, would you rather be able to go to any theme park in the world for free for the rest of your life, or eat for free at any drive through restaurant for the rest of your life? So, let's make sure this is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Um, so this is pretty easy for me. I am definitely going with any theme park for the rest of my life. Let's give it a count. So we have $1,000 in our high yield savings account. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, another thousand dollars. So $2,000. And then we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 65 so two thousand and sixty five dollars let me go ahead and get another placeholder for this okay i was looking for a different one but i'll just pull this one that's from my etsy shop so i've got one thousand two thousand dollar placeholder Ooh, i'm so excited i would definitely 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 want to be able to be able to go to any theme park ever aka disney world <laughs> definitely disney world getting in free anytime i want christmas time um Halloween, Thanksgiving, I want to be able to go on any holiday for free. That is what I would choose. What about y'all? Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I just appreciate y'all spending this time. I just adore y'all so, so, so much. You guys are wonderful and fantastic and awesome and amazing. Don't give up doing great things, my friends. We'll be back soon. Bye, guys. Bye.